Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in operating system that is mutex locks. So in our previous session, we have seen a critical section problem and one solution for that critical section problem is a Peterson solution, which will be suitable only if the uh, if there are only two processes. So actually critical section problem means uh, at a time only one process can able to share the common resources. So that is called as a critical section. Now in today's session, we'll see one more concept in that, that is a mute, mutex locks. Mutex locks. So here the name itself indicates mutex means a mutual exclusion locks. So it is a mutual exclusion locks. So we know that the mutual exclusion means only one process is allowed to access the shared resource. If one process is sharing the uh, sharing the resource, utilizing this resource, then other process have to wait until the uh, process gets finished its execution. So this mutation locks, there will be a one lock. So where if one process uh, enters into the critical section, then a lock will be uh, required and until the clock is released no other process is allowed to enter into the critical section problem so the same code uh, which we have seen in the peterson, peterson's uh, uh, solution the same code will be used so before that this mutex locks will be used three components so what are these three components used in this mutex locks so the first one is mutex variable so the name itself indicates this is a variable which holds the state of the lock state of lock that means whether the lock is available or unavailable okay so state means available or unavailable So this mutex variable holds that state and the second one is lock acquisition. So lock acquisition means every process will be requesting for the lock. Okay. So in order to utilize the shared resource. So every process. So you can also call it as a process or a thread. Okay every process or a thread will be requesting for a lock because to utilize the shared resource. So if the lock is available, then the lock will be granted. If the lock is unavailable, so the process or a thread should be in a waiting state. So if lock available lock is available then it will be granted then it will be granted to the process if the lock is not available if the lock is not available process or thread will be in wait state until the lock is released okay so what it means if lock is not available means the lock is already granted to some process so whatever the process which is which is requesting for a lock that should be in a waiting state until the lock has been released and the third component lock release so Whenever the process completed utilizing the shared resource, then the lock will be released. So, after completion of utilizing shared resource, then lock will be 
released. So until it completes the utilizing of shared resource, the lock will be in a granted. Lock will not be released. So these are the major components of mutex locks. Mutex variable which holds the state, lock acquisition, requesting of lock and lock release. Now let us see the code. Code of this mutex locks. So one is a common thing, so which we have seen in our preparation solution. So this will be the infinite loop. Okay. First one, entry state. Okay, entry section, which we are calling it as acquire the lock. So here instead of giving a normal variable, we have we are passing the reference. So ampersand lock. So that means the address of that lock will be given. Okay. Then waiting state. So this is an entry, okay, while, while lock is equal to or not equal to zero. So until the lock becomes released, then the process will be in this particular while loop, okay. So when the process comes out of this while loop, whenever the lock value will be zero. Okay, whenever the lock value is zero, lock value zero means lock, lock is available. Okay, now critical section, the process will be entering into the critical section. Okay, then release lock. So this is a continuous loop, okay. So if one process enter into here, it will request for the acquiring of lock. So acquiring of lock, we have to write it here, acquire of star lock. So here we are passing the address, so the value should be here. If star lock. not equal to 1, then star lock equal to 1, okay, close and release of star lock, what is this release, star lock is equal to 0. So this is what happens here, right? So, so I think uh, a little bit, okay, sorry. So this is not written here, acquire lock and then critical section, then release lock. And here we need to write it. So while lock not equal to zero, then, so whenever the lock not equal to Yes, so it comes into out of the loop and here we need to initialize lock as 1. So lock as 1 means that lock has been given to the process. I mean that the data or the common resource will be in a lock. So whenever the process completes its transaction then it will use a release lock. So where again the lock value will becomes 0. Okay. Hope you understood. So once again I'm repeating. So acquire lock means requesting for a lock. So it will implement this particular code. So here this particular process while star lock not equal to zero means it will wait until the lock the lock not equal to zero until it becomes a lock equal to zero. Then it will be initialized to one. That means lock will be granted, right? Then the process will enter into the critical section. So once the process enters into the critical section, it will access the shared memory, it will access the resources, and after completion of that, then release of lock. So the release of lock means, again, this code will be executed. Now the lock value will becomes zero. Okay, so hope you understood this code. So this is called as a mutex locks, right? So 
with this mutex locks also the mutual exclusion will be implemented that means at a time only one process can enter into the critical section the other process have to be in a waiting state until the process completes the utilizing the shared resources in the critical section right so hope you understood let's stop here and uh, in our next session we'll go with the another topic so if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much